Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can easily remove a background from any image in Photoshop. I'm going to be using the newest update. They just created a new feature that will help speed up this process. I'm also going to show you another way in Photoshop that has helped me, which only works in some instances. And finally, I'm going to show you a website that I use sometimes that speeds up the process and essentially automates it. The three methods I'm going to show you today are the fastest ways that I found personally. And if you're lazy, this is probably the best video for you. If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here, I got an image of myself and this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I just got it off this site, um, but yeah. So I'm going to be using the new feature by Photoshop, which basically selects subjects. More specifically, it is for portraits like this, and it works really good with hair. Um, hair is probably the hardest thing to mask out. Um, obviously, I don't have a lot of hair, so it might not really show its full capability with this photo, but um, either way, I think it's going to work. Um, so essentially, all you want to do is press on the quick selection tool. And you can see right here, select subject. Um, this wasn't here before. Um, the recent updates show it. And there you go. Um, there you have the picture. So if you go to the bottom right and press on create layer mask, it'll basically remove the background in a non-destructive way. I found that this works for portraits, but sometimes obviously this doesn't work. And this video, once again, is for lazy people like me who do not want to do any work. If I really wanted a perfect cutout, I would use the pen tool. But because that takes so long, usually I don't do that. I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect and I'm going to show you the second method. So the second method usually works if there's like a sky in the background or just like a singular color. So in this case, it's like blue. Um, I couldn't do it on this just because, you know, there's different elements in the background, but in here, the background is blue and this method won't completely cut everything out. It'll just speed the process up. Um, sometimes it does completely remove the background, but in this case, the whole thing is not blue. Only the top portion of this photo is. So essentially all you do is right click um, on your layer, press on blending options and right here, blend if you want to select the color. So in this case, it's like blue and you literally just decrease it and boom, there you go. So most of the sky is deleted. You can see there are instances where something that is blue gets cut out. Um, so I would make a duplicate of a layer to make sure that you don't accidentally delete something by doing this. And obviously the more you increase it, the more uh, strict it gets. You can also do this with different colors, obviously. So if I do this, the red, which is the skin tones in this case are removed as well as the green. But this is just what I found um, to be a lot faster. So if I had a picture of like a road or something with the sky in the background, it's really easy to do sky replacements uh, through this method. So I'm gonna show you an example. So something like this image, it'd be really easy to remove the background. So if I did the same thing, um, but for this image, it might turn out way, way better. But obviously this isn't a portrait. Um, so you can see here. Boom, that's it. And then you could put a new sky in the background. Um, also, quick tip, if there is a singular color like this, like I showed you, or like this, you might just be able to use the magic eraser tool. Typically it works. So it does the same thing. And it usually just works when there's one color. Um, so that might be a faster way actually. That only works when there's a singular color. Typically it's just like a landscape. It's not gonna be a background like this unless the background is completely white, um, but yeah. In the last way I'm going to show you does not require Photoshop at all. It's actually a website called remove BG. This works if you are a beginner and it sort of works sometimes. Um, sometimes it's not that good. Sometimes it's good. So I'm going to try a complex image so you can see this is a really complex image. It probably wouldn't be good. This is me, by the way, I tried this before the video uh, was recording. Let's try a complex image. It's probably not, not that good. Actually pretty good. Um, but you can see it's a little sloppy um, and they add a feather so that the edge is smooth. I thought they wouldn't do this that well, but that, I guess that's pretty good. But the downside to this is obviously, you know, there's going to be a paid version. So they actually give you a very low quality image, not that low quality, um, but obviously the full image is like five times the resolution. So in this case, you can see six by six, 666 by 375 isn't that bad, um, but it was pretty high quality before. So yeah. Um, you can just download the image and see here and it exports as a PNG. 
So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know what video you want next. And yeah, these are just a few methods for lazy people like me. So yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.